It's that magical time again. Welcome to my house. This is Jamin Jackson. Hello. I was just finishing up in the studio working on uh, a new old variation uh, or version of the trickeration. Uh, Chester Whitmore was sharing with me some details on the history of the dance uh, with Norman Miller. And uh, upon coming back in the office here to edit those videos, I got a text message from a uh, Patreon supporter, Tom, who was like, yo, you need to check out this video uh, and get a reaction video. So I thought, well, I got a little bit of time. And so first I thought it better be good for me to just, you know, watch some random video. And then I looked at the title. I was like, oh, Niels and Bianca. I know them. Actually, I don't know them. I met them once. So I guess I know them. I guess we were working in Germany together. Man, I love, I love their energy. I love it. I think she's from Italy and he's from Sweden. Um, and uh, man, they're just so talented in their way. So I gotta take some time to look at this video. We're gonna see what's up about this video. I think it was at, uh, let's see, Black Valentine Week in 2019 in February. Whoa, I'm late. I need to start watching some YouTube videos. Okay. Let's see what's up. Okay, let's turn this baby on and get into it. All right, let's get into it. Woo, the obligatory uh, cheers. See you, Bianca. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Just, just wrap the legs. <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> This band is on point, too. Yeah, I love moves with that left hand hold. Come back here. <laughs> I love when he does that. That old man wobble thing. Huh. All that movement, just like, stop. He's good at it though. or looking at their dancing and trying to help, but they are right on. Yes, why not headbutt? <laughs> yes. Stop, yes. I'm out. Just walk away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was good, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I I don't know about a lot of people. A lot of people like hate on Lindy Hoppers who came from the boogie woogie background, and I don't. I actually really appreciate those who do Lindy Hop who had a boogie woogie background. 
uh, for so many different reasons. I remember what it was like when I didn't do Lindy Hop and seeing it for the first time, it wasn't very like impressive. In fact, I thought it was just like nerdy kids who couldn't dance, you know, did this, you know, it wasn't like the hip hop kids. That's what I did. And I saw a jam circle for the first time and I actually saw flashy dancing that was fearless and aggressive. And I thought, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to admit it, but I liked it because of that. And I think, I think people who have that boogie woogie background, there's just like this fearless grit in their movement. They're just they're going to try all kinds of things. You just don't know what's going to happen. And I just love that about Niels and Bianca is they know how to use that fearless grit that they have. And they mix it with their unique humor. And I, there's very few dancers I can think about that nail that humor part. But if I'm watching like a competition or you know something online and I don't know anybody, it's usually the one that's like either really good technically or really creatively or... The ones that are just on the opposite side that are good and funny. Like those people, those are the ones where it's like, oh yeah, let me share this video on, on social media. I might be able to convince my friend now uh, to come do Lindy Hopping. But man, I love, I just love everything about them. It's not, um, it doesn't feel fake. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's like put on. And I'm sure some of it's just performance, but I feel like, that there's a piece of them when I'm watching it. It's like that's their personality and they're not scared to just be themselves. That's like really hard to do in Lindy Hop, especially we got all these competitions and people are like, hey, you're supposed to do this and you're supposed to hold your hand this way and you know, you're supposed to have this kind of outfit and you know, you definitely can't, you know, do this. And we don't know who's in charge and like what's the rules? And every once in a while I love just seeing people like, I don't care, I'm just gonna twitch a little bit or I'm gonna do a little grandpa a little grandpa wobble he needs to name that move by the way I think that I think that's a fancy funny move and I'm gonna jack it and and put it in something I don't really do routines much but I think I love it I love that kind of stuff so what do you guys think about this I'm late coming to the table Tom sent this to me and this came out in you know February this year uh, so I'm a little behind on seeing this so uh, great job, guys. I definitely want to take a class with Niels and Bianca. I have not at this moment taken a class. I met them one time uh, this year, I believe. Yeah, it was this year in Dresden. And we talked a little bit and got a chance to kind of social dance. Um, but I learned a little bit about Swedish Boog. And I, and I love to get an official lesson. So hopefully I can catch you guys at some point at another event where we're teaching at. Anyways, what do you guys think about this performance? Obviously, there's like thousands of people watching this. I just saw it's like 280,604 views precisely, including my view. I know that I'm, I don't know if I'm the fourth view or maybe the fifth view that hasn't shown yet. Um, and there's like 35 haters. Like 35 people are like, no, I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like them. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I'm going to go out of my way today and find the latest video and thumbs down it. I think that's really funny. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section about this video. Uh, what do you think about their dancing? I love it. I love when I get a chance to see like improv stuff. That's some of my favorite stuff because you just don't know what's going to happen. And if you're on the fence and you were thinking about swing dancing, you need to do it. No more excuses. No more watching YouTube videos. I've put about 30 courses together uh, in the comment section there at the little description. They're free. Um, you get a little taster to see what Lindy Hop is and, and if it's something for you. It may not be for everybody, but I basically kind of put it together so you can figure out if this is you for not or not. So check it out below if you want to do that. And hopefully I'll get a chance to see you guys on the dance floor. Take care. <laughs>